Hello guys, Messenger of Death here. We're gonna deliver the robot to office, and we're gonna go get the Blood Scale Blade, because I find that weapon cool as hell. I'm sorry. I, 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 I love that weapon. I'm not two-handed, but I want it. If you get me the logbook, I'll have proof of Shattershield's treachery. I've got the logbook. How did you get it? No, never mind. I probably shouldn't know. I see. It looks like Severus has been traveling to Dawnstar to meet with a pirate crew there. Get to Dawnstar and see what you can find out about these rogues. I'd wager they won't be too far from the tavern. Try to find out where their fortress is. The captain, Stig Saltplank, has to know something. Very well. I don't remember where... I already want me to take us somewhere. Because I've got no quest for it. Which is, you know, a thing. Uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to do that either. I don't even know how that got toggled. But uh, I know what I am going to do. I'm going to head to Solstein. You. Seeking passage to Solstein. That's about passage. As soon as I... Right then. Lovely. Yes, I want my blood scale blade. The one thing that's really disappointing about the weapon is companions can't use its effects. Only the player can. Which is really disheartening. So I'd love to have a companion be able to use that blade. It'd be cool as but what can we do? Uh, I thought we crashed for a moment there, it looked like we had, but thankfully not. You, you look very uh, interesting. Excuse me, but the temple is for followers of our faith alone. Outsiders aren't welcome here. Bro, I will smack you up. I am one of your kind. You should welcome me. Hello. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taking my pickaxe again. Well, the fuss over a simple no, pickaxe. No, no, this isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't yeah. exactly grow on trees, you know. I see. Can you just get the gods to find? Um, I yeah. prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Okay. How did you end up at Raven Rock? That's a fine question. And the one that I hear most often from visitors to our town. I wish I had a more romantic tale to tell, but I was simply seeking my fortune and chose Raven Rock to ply my trade. Fast. Besides, knowing how to repair bone mold armor wasn't very useful in Riften. Who taught you that? I had a friend over there, a dark elf named Van Rife, a very talented armor smith. I Spent see. a lot of time with the guy swapping smithing techniques. Learned a heck of a lot, including how to repair bone mold. After he moved on to greener pastures, I decided to pack up, move out here, and put those lessons to the test. Been here ever since. I see. And what's an ancient Nordic pickaxe? It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stalrim, is what it is. Oh. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescius borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some goods for it. Stalrim a type of calling ore. Stalrim an ore is like calling my forge a campfire. Some folks say it's enchanted ice, but I think there's more to it than that. I assume it's rare. I don't think I've come across more than a chunk or two in my lifetime, and smithing's my trade. If you're looking to learn more, you should head over to the Skull Village. Someone there's bound to know more about it than I do. I see. Uh... We need the crafting right, expertise. Then. So you can make bone mold, which is fair enough, you know, that's cool and all, but can you make star in my own day? Ah, it's gonna be here all day. Uh Well there are lots of things no, unless it's down here. No, you can't. So I don't have anyone who can make me star him then. Hmm. Always a pleasure to watch when a man like you walks by. Thank you.
thank you. It gets lonely out here, you know, on this remote island. You look like a vampire. I work for Moko. You got a problem, you talk to him. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. Oh, yeah? If Mogul you're dealing with me, the coin there's only Outlanders. one thing to remember. Look somewhere else. May your debts are in dub hurt. Yeah? One thing you should know when you're talking to me is I will you fuck you and your bodyguard up without a second's way. notice. I might look going to people that need it, but I Looking for any potions? Ingredients? Alchemical supplies? Uh... Where'd you learn your alchemy skills? After we left Morrowind, we found ourselves in Skyrim. We I wandered see. around a bit and ended up in Morthal. Yeah. We took up temporary residence with Lani, the town's alchemist. I was fascinated by her work, and over a period of a few years, she taught me quite a bit. Why did you leave Morthal? It wasn't long before we became homesick. We were the only Dunmer in Morthal. When word reached us that a settlement of Dunmer was forming on Solstheim, we were thrilled. It's been difficult, but I'm not regretting it one bit. In fact, I'm glad we've been able to stay and help. I see, and how has Raven Rock needed your help? As you can imagine, the eruption of the Red Mountain took an awful toll on Solstheim. Yeah? Hunting for game has been scarce, and the waters are apparently too tainted for fishing. According to Councillor Morvane, my husband's been Raven Rock's most important food source for decades. Okay, and you're selling quite a few exotic yes, ingredients. I'm proud to say that I grow or harvest most of it myself. I see. I only wish I had a better source for net jelly. Those creatures are difficult to track down since it's so dangerous beyond the bulwark. Hmm. I could gather some for you. It would be splendid. I'd be more than happy to give you something for the effort. Very good. Careful with those netches. They may look tame. Seriously, Sean Raven Rock. I work for There's only one thing to talk to him. Hello there. I could dock you if you want. Do you? Do yes, you I have Alice of Falkreath. Wow. Are you? Are you sure? You really wouldn't mind? Yes, I'm sure, daughter. Hey. Thanks, Mr. Um, Papa. I promise I'll be the best daughter ever. Right, we now have four girls and one boy. I want to sort of adopt in males from now on. <laughs> Welcome to Raven Rock, Traveller. Could I interest you in any fine ash-grown foods? What exactly is ash-grown food? The Dunmer have been growing food in the Ashlands for thousands of years. It was born out of the necessity to survive in the harsh climate of our homeland. And now, with the constant eruptions of the Red Mountain, it's more important than ever. Is magic involved? No. Only the Tilvani have the ability to weave living growth from the ash. This simply takes the right ingredients, the right tools, and a lot of patience. Mm. Oh, thank you for the tip. Next time you're hungry, stop by. I always have plenty of food. Want to sale. buy anything? Or just laugh at our misfortunes? Do you sell any special mining gear? Mining gear? No. However, I used to sell East Empire pendants until I ran out of them. Popular little item. What's an East Empire it's pendant? An that was made exclusively for the East Empire Company. They gave them to their workers as an incentive at one point. A kind of reward for extra effort. They They're see. no longer being made, so they've become a collectible. I'd love to get my hands on a few of them. Where can you find them? Anywhere on the island. Mm -hmm. The mines might be a good place to start. If you find any while you're exploring Solstheim, bring them here, and I'll pay you. Wonderful. The sales up bad out here? Bad? What if I told you that you're the first person that's even considered looking at my wares today? I've half a mind to contact my friends at the East Empire Company and see if they need an extra hand in Windhelm. You have friends at the East Empire Company? Oh, absolutely. In fact, I've corresponded with Vittoria Vici herself more than once. You know, the lady who runs the East Empire Company warehouse in Solitude. The biggest warehouse they have in Skyrim. I see. Okay. Ah, you're just like the rest of the folks around here. Mark my words. The East Empire Company will return to Raven Rock. And when they do, I'll be at the top of their list. What is that? Do you sell here? The question you should be asking is, what don't I sell here? 
Because I have pretty much any supplies you might need. Oh yeah? If it's not a weapon, potion, or armor, then it's likely that I have it. I see. Where do you get all these Charlotte, items? Over at the docks brings me most of my supplies. And the rest comes from bartering with the people in town. Oh, Glover Mallory gets me a few things once in a while. He usually has the most amazing deals that I can't pass out. Hmm. What have you got for sale then? Take a look. Good to see. Ah, uh, I mean, the museum hasn't got one of these. I suppose we could get one of them. We'll get one of these, since the museum doesn't have that either. Chain heavy helmet and a chain helmet. They haven't got that, but I could probably get that off enemies. Citrine, they don't have that yet. Drafite tourmaline. Tourmaline. Emperor Parasol Moss. Don't mind if I do. Oh, a summer fist. I could use that for enchanting at some point in the future when I plan to make my end gear set up. I'll buy that too. I'll take that. 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 Hmm. An opal. Hmm. You're making a killing off me right now, it seems. Hmm. Steel shield. Fomsonite. Well, time to make some of my claim back. You don't mind, do you? Surely not. <sighs> Lovely. Uh, sell that to you. Honestly, I really should have equipped my uh, clothing before doing this, but hey. Uh, can you do? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. The East Empire pendants are scattered all over, so leave no stone unturned. I need to get my miserable, to just miserable. I'll meet you at home. Oh, I hate this place. You're welcome. So you don't like it on Soul's like Time? I hate it. Every day it's the same thing. We open a shop, we hardly sell a thing, we close the shop and go to sleep. What kind of a life is that? Why don't we sit tomorrow oh, Believe me, I'd be on the first ship off this miserable island if I could. But I'm not sure I could do that to my father. I think it would break his heart. We've already lost my mother. I don't want to leave him alone. Well, how did your mother die? We lived in a settlement, perhaps a league from the border of Black Marsh. The homeland of the Argonians. Even though the Argonian invasion ended a long time ago. There are still a few scale-skinned clans that live within our borders. To put it simply, they attacked our settlement and slaughtered almost everyone. It was horrible. Sorry to hear. Hmm. The sound of fortune. Keep yourself safe. Solstheim is still a dangerous place. Indeed. Why you're leading Cretius on, I'm... Huh? What are you arguing with Cretius about? The foolish old man thinks he's 30 years younger than he is. He's going to get himself killed traipsing around the mine. Why is he exploring he's the mine? He himself that there's some sort of conspiracy involving the East Empire Company and the mine's closure. I see. He came across some old letters that belonged to his great-grandfather in our house, and he believes every word written in them. What did the letters say? His great-grandfather worked for the East Empire Company. The letters mention some sort of discovery he was sent to investigate. See. There's really nothing remarkable in the letters. I don't know what he's so excited about. Who is Cretius's great grandfather? Gratian Corellius. He was an explorer for the East Empire Company. They'd sent him all over Tamriel when they had difficulties in a mining operation. Can you imagine doing all that dangerous work just to end up dying at your own doorstep? Who keeps sniffing me? It was a horrible accident, and he was killed when one of the tunnels collapsed. They were never even able to go down <coughs> and recover the body. The East Empire Company sealed that section off to prevent any more tragedies. 
Lucretius is convinced it's a story cooked up by the company to cover up something else. But I don't know. Don't agree with him? Beloved is almost 80 years old, and I think the shock of finding one of his ancestors' things has left his mind a bit confused. I love him dearly, and I support everything he does. But I can't let him chase this silly idea, or he may end up joining Gratian in a rocky grave. And how did you meet Cretius? To understand how we met one another, you have to appreciate what he's going through. <laughs> Cretius is a third generation miner. All his life he's lived and breathed nothing else. By the time Cretius came of age, the ebony mine in Raven Rock was shut down. He took that quite hard. Why didn't you meet someone else to find work? Home has been in his family for over 200 years. Leaving would have been like abandoning precious memories. Instead, he stayed on Soul's time and spent most of his life prospecting for a new ebony source. Sadly, it never surfaced. A decade ago, this drove him into a deep depression. He shut himself inside his home and refused to come out. This is where he met? After refusing to allow anyone to bring him food, Counselor Morgan ordered his door to be knocked down before Cretius starved to death. I was a temple priest at the time, and they had me use my healing arts to restore strength to his ailing body. I stayed for a while and cared for him, then I suppose we fell in love. No. You're a priest at the temple? Far from it. In fact, I'm no longer welcome there. Why? In all honesty, it came down to a disagreement between what I believe and what Elder Ofraloth believes. I'd prefer not to get into the details. But let's just say our opinions about the current status of the tribunal vary widely. I see. I guess you don't agree with Cretius' well, story. This is aging, and I believe it's addled his mind. As the years have passed, it's gotten worse. He's become obsessed with his theories of conspiracy. Then was his great grandfather? I'm sure, he's down there somewhere, buried under a mountain of rubble, like the East Empire Company claims. My greatest fear is that my stubborn mule of a husband will end up suffering the same fate. Let's see. Be careful out there. Roy. You there. I think we'll say goodbye. Your visit here will be tolerated as long as you abide by our laws. Otherwise, you'll answer to the Reverend God. Okay, I've already Remember, exhausted we all you. You work for that guy. My husband Vendel feared visitors would shun Raven Rock. I'm glad to see you with his story. Right, we are going to go get that pickaxe because story, you know, I wouldn't mind getting me an armor set in the future. Obviously, that's going to be a long way away from me maxing my mining to get it, but yeah. It will come a point where that upgrade will be needed. Right. Uh, creatures. Okay. Let's make this simple. Uh, um, he's not here. So he's... Somewhere outside them, I'm guessing. Yes. Very well. What are you doing that for? Uh, quit yapping. Really, it's his house. Can I help you? Try the lower sections of the mine. I've never been able to get that far. Ah, Global wants his ancient Nordic pickaxe back. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the skull in the first place. It doesn't belong to you. Oh, very well. Here, tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. Very well, thank Be you. Down there. 
mine can be special. Uh, you know what? I might do your mine first. And we'll get the Blood Scar Blade next time, maybe. Depends whether somebody gets back to me or not. Well. Glover. That's not what I meant to do. Find my Glover Mallory's the name. If you're looking for a smith, you found one of the best. Maybe I should not so, pickaxe. You finally tracked down old Crescius, eh? Quite a character, isn't he? Tell you what, since you went through all the trouble of finding it for me and all, you keep it. After all that, I why? I just wanted to remind that codger you can't just go around taking things from other people. Fair. When you delivered the message, I'm satisfied. Besides, that pickaxe hasn't done me any good in years. Maybe you can put it to good use. Uh, I probably will. Your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. My husband Bendel feared visitors would shun. Always nice to speak to someone from the mainland. Yes, we had a massive I conversation. Me. Here's a one thing. Oh, bro, I, I, I'm going to slit your throat in a minute, Mogul. If you keep talking to me like that. Because I can't, and there's nothing you can do about it, basically. Anyway, let's pray. Down there. Does it make your skin crawl? That's a shame. They say these walls show the history of the ancients who built this place. Not close to stealing. Quietly now. Know. How am I glitched? Seriously, but no, no, like seriously, how am I glitched? Fine. Uh huh. Alright, technically, if I wanted to, I could just jump all the way down there. Spitters. I'm fine. Just, uh, yeah, get stuck. Spiders in my way. Where? He's done pendant already. Lovely. 
Hell yeah. Keep coming. Ow. Frick was that? Release your heart. Ancient modern steel sword. Ancient Nordic bow. Awesome. All right, now we already have. We've already given an Orcish bow. Don't need another one. 